And that's about as close to hunting as it gets without seeing feathers. Hi, I'm Grits Gresham, shooting editor of Sports Afield magazine. I'm out here shooting a clay target game that's called a quail walk. The traps are hidden in the woods, and you never know when you'll get a target or in which direction it'll fly. Of course, some of my friends refer to this game in more colorful terms. But call it what you will, it's a kind of realistic practice that can really help make you a better wing shot and a more successful hunter. Besides, shooting games such as this are also just plain fun to shoot. A chance to get outdoors most any time of year and pull a trigger. And not just with a shotgun, but with a rifle and handgun too. Unfortunately, many hunters wait until just before opening day to get out their shooting equipment. And then when the season ends, they put their guns back in the rack. And that's too bad. Nowadays, there are lots of new shooting games and challenging ways to practice with a gun. All are a great way to enjoy shooting with your friends or family and improve your shooting skills at the same time, whether you're just starting out or have more seasons behind you than you care to remember. You know, a lot of hunters tell me that shooting at clay targets is one thing, but that it doesn't really duplicate the kinds of shots you get when actually hunting. Now that's about as close as it gets to the real thing. Let's take another look at that shot with an instant replay from another angle. If I had failed to lead that clay target, I would have missed it. Just like I would have missed a duck dropping into the decoy. Believe me, it's good shooting that helps you break any target whether it has feathers on it or not. This is just one layout of a new shotgun game called Hunter's Clays. With different setups, Hunter's Clays can simulate, indeed come awfully close to actually duplicating, just about any type of shot you'll find in the field, from decoying ducks to a covey rise of quail. Let's take a closer look. High-flying ducks or geese, for example, are a challenging target for any shotgunner, especially when the birds are passing overhead. When you're trying to shoot straight up, it's awfully easy to run out of swing. I never had a chance to practice shots like that until I came across a hunter's clay tower. Here at the Fairfield Shooting School at Chestertown, Maryland, they've set up a 50-foot tower that can throw targets at a variety of angles, from those passing directly over the shooter to high passing rights and lefts. It's an ideal way to sharpen your skills on high, fast moving targets. And let me tell you, to hit these targets, you really have to get out in front of them and keep swinging. When you're in the field, whether you're out after quail or pheasants or chucker, you can be sure of only one thing you never know which way the birds are going to fly. A pheasant, for instance, may head out straight away from you, either towering high or keeping low to the ground. Or the bird might take off at most any angle to your left or right. Basically, expecting the unexpected is what this type of layout is all about. With a trap on my right, and a trap out front, all kinds of outgoing and angling targets can be simulated. Let's give it a try. These birds come out both high and low, as well as singles, doubles, and even a whole bunch at one time just like a cubby rise of quail. When hunting in heavy cover, you typically have only a few brief seconds to get a shot off at a fast disappearing bird.
This kind of shooting puts a real premium on a fast but smooth gun mount. Up. Once again, Hunter's Clays has the perfect setup to practice these kinds of quick and challenging shots. You have traps set up to the right and left of the shooter, and it doesn't take long for those targets to disappear into the wood. Let's try it again. Let me tell you, if you hunt grouse or woodcock, pull. This game was designed for you. Hunter's Clays is not only an extremely versatile game that can simulate just about any type of shot you'll find in the field, it's also a game that will adapt to almost any type of terrain, anywhere really, that you have room to shoot and a safe background. You're limited only by your own imagination. An old farm pond, for example, can become an ideal environment for some tricky shots that simulate passing or decoying waterfowl. If your property is mostly woodland, a compact stand tucked into a clearing doesn't take up much space at all. Even a whole series of layouts doesn't take up that much room. At Fairfield, all kinds of Hunter's Clays games have been set up at one end of an unused field. The entire layout is only about 250 yards long and 50 yards deep. A great layout for most any shooting preserve or sportsman's club. Also keep in mind that Hunter's Clays doesn't have to be an elaborate or even permanent affair. You can put together a setup like this for around $100. A couple of portable traps, some bales of hay, and a shooter's cage are all you need. Set out with the traps on either side of the shooter, you can throw all kinds of crossing or angling away targets. Or set up on a high point behind the shooter, you can throw a variety of tough overhead targets. Go ahead and load. Okay, now don't, don't, when you get ready, don't swing back this way. Think of that as another hunting blind. Okay, so line up. Get that gun right in the, in your arm there. Okay, anytime you're ready. Pull. I can't think of a better way to introduce young people to shotgun shooting. I wish it had been around when I was teaching my sons and daughter to shoot. Okay, go ahead, Lil Paul. It provides a realistic environment to teach safe gun handling skills in the field. Okay. And the traps can be adjusted to throw slower targets for the beginning shooter. Okay. With this setup and a little coaching, okay. you'll have them breaking birds in no time. Okay. If you'd like more information on Hunter's Clays, drop a note to the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Hunter's Clays, Post Office Box 1075, Riverside, Connecticut, 06878. That's National Shooting Sports Foundation, Hunter's Clays, Post Office Box 1075, Riverside, Connecticut. Each season, over 10 million hunters throughout America spend anywhere from a few days to more than a week trying to set their sights on a whitetail or mule deer a big bull elk in the high country, or a pronghorn antelope on our western plains. As any veteran hunter knows, there's a lot that goes into the making of a successful hunt. Pre-season scouting, checking out the potential hot spots, and looking for signs of recent activity. All of that is important in contributing to a successful or unsuccessful hunt. But a successful big game hunt also starts right here on the range. It begins with a rifle that shoots exactly where you aim. Actually, sighting in a rifle isn't complicated, provided you keep a few things in mind. First, make sure the scope is firmly attached to the barrel. Second, you must have a steady shooting position, preferably a shooting bench. And third, remember that you can't sight a rifle in if the barrel is hot. Now, with those things in mind, Here's what you do. First shoot one three-shot group and determine where the center of that group hits the target. Then adjust the scope to move the center of that group down to the bullseye. Shoot another three-shot group. 
and should be on target. You can fine tune it, but remember, if the barrel gets hot, let it cool. Getting your rifle sighted in is critical, but don't stop shooting once you're done. An accurate rifle is only part of the equation. You're the other half, and that means getting plenty of the kind of practice that will help make you a better shot in the field, not just at the bench. To begin with, be sure to do some shooting with the same rifle and loads you plan to hunt with. And spend some time practicing from different shooting positions, kneeling, sitting, and especially offhand. Take your time at first, but also work towards shouldering, aiming, and firing your rifle in one quick but smooth motion. Remember, a quick offhand shot may be the only shot you'll get at a trophy of a lifetime. You don't have to limit your shooting to the range. Practice at rimfire silhouette targets can also work miracles for your marksmanship. There's nothing like knocking over these little targets to build confidence in your shooting ability. And with a 22, it's fun, inexpensive, and you can set up most anywhere it's safe to shoot. And when you head out, don't forget to take the kids. With targets where you can hear and see your hits, it's just the kind of fun shooting game that maintains a young shooter's interest. Today, not everyone who hunts big game uses a rifle. More and more hunters are discovering the tremendous challenge of hunting with a handgun, both for deer and small game. Of course, developing the skills necessary to be a handgun hunter doesn't happen overnight. It takes lots of practice, but that can be half the fun. First off, if you plan to hunt big game with a handgun, be sure to take the time to learn just how far away you can consistently group your shots. And never exceed that as your maximum hunting distance. Adjust your sights for that distance, and then see where your group prints at closer ranges. And just as with a rifle, don't restrict your practice to your big game hunting handgun. If you can consistently hit silhouette targets shooting a 22 offhand, you can be sure you'll be able to hit from other positions. And if you're out with a friend, why not challenge him to a little tic-tac-toe with clay targets or balloons? You can even practice with an air pistol. One way that's both fun and challenging is to work your way through the woods picking out natural targets, such as an old stump. See how fast you can get into position and shoot. This kind of realistic practice can pay big dividends come the hunting season. I realize that finding an open field or an abandoned gravel pit where you can do some informal shooting isn't as easy as it used to be. In fact, one of the questions I'm asked most often is, where can I find a place to shoot? Well, nine times out of 10, my answer is your local sportsman's club. There are thousands of such clubs across the country. And whether you shoot a rifle, pistol, or handgun, or all three, there's likely a club in your area that's just right for you. In fact, a recent survey by the National Shooting Sports Foundation showed that eight out of 10 clubs are actually looking to add new members. So whether you're looking for a place to practice before the season starts, to introduce your children to the shooting sports, or want to get involved in competitive shooting, your local club is the place to go. And more than a place to shoot, your local club may also be the answer to your search for a place to hunt. Some clubs own or lease good hunting lands, but even if your club doesn't have its own land, there's an excellent chance that club members will know about the good hunting spots in your area. If you're having trouble finding a club in your area, the National Shooting Sports Foundation would like to help. Just drop a note to NSSF Gun Club, Post Office Box 1075, Riverside, Connecticut, 06878. You know, I spent a lifetime in the out of doors, often with gun in hand. And whether it's in the field or on the range, I can hardly think of a minute I haven't enjoyed. Part of the fun has been introducing new people to the shooting sports, especially young people. And it's amazing how many of them have become dyed in the wool shooters and hunters. So the next time you head out, do me a favor, invite a friend. <laughs>